if we if we have now if we have an algebraic fraction with the repeated linear factors like that how do we solve this thing uh, because here the repeated is x minus 1 square it's being repeated twice and that's x plus 1 the way we do is we write down a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 square because that's a square plus c over x plus 1 that's that's how we do it then after this thing what we do is we actually convert into this form how we try to convert from that form to that form with the same denominator let's do on the next slide okay so first you draw a big massive line and at the bottom you just write down x minus 1 square and x plus 1 this is an a what is a missing at the denominator 1 x minus 1 is missing isn't it i want to make it exactly like that and because there is a x minus 1 missing at the at the bottom x i need two of them x minus 1 square and there is a x plus 1 missing as well so that's your a done plus b is there what's b missing to make it exactly same denominator as that x plus 1 so you write x plus 1 let me just write in blue then we got plus c what is c missing c is missing x minus 1 that's it and on this side on this side I have 1 x minus 1 square and x plus 1 now if you have a look at the both denominators are same so you can straight away cancel the denominators and then you have 1 equals this thing a x minus 1 x plus 1 plus b x plus 1 plus a c x minus 1 square now we're going to do some assumptions now we're going to assume the best thing to do to assume is x minus 1 equal to 0 start with that one and then do x plus 1 equal 0 so let's Let's do on the next slide. So I just copied thing from the previous slide. So now I'm just going to make an assumption now. So let, that's a let, x minus 1 equals 0. If x minus 1 equals 0, what's the value of the x then? x is 1. Then wherever there is x minus 1, I will put 0. So this whole equation will become 1 equal, uh, change the color, 1 equal a, this is x minus 1 is 0, isn't it? So I can just write down 0, yeah? And that multiplied by that is 0 as well. Plus b, what's the value of the x? 1, so 1 plus 1, which will give me a 2. Plus c x minus 1 is 0 so i don't need to yeah let's put that one so here i got 1 equals 2b so what's the b then i got the b equals half right. once we got b uh now i need to find out the other one i need to find out uh the c uh, and uh, a so now let's have a look um, I'm just going to do another one now so I'm just going to do let uh, x plus 1 equals 0 which means x equals to a minus 1 so I'm just going to rewrite this thing again let's use a color red okay so in this type i'm just going to do one equal oops, sorry that's not red one equals x plus one so which means that's going to be zero plus b zero 
and that is plus c so x is oh that's supposed to be minus one not plus one yeah x is minus one not plus one yeah so now c is going to be a minus one minus one square yeah so that becomes a minus two square so do you have one equals to 4c yeah because minus one minus one is minus two minus two square is four so c will be equal to which mean c equals one over four now if you notice with this method now there's a b b i got c i got what about the a how i'm gonna get the a so this is the problem with that method so we cannot we got the value of the b and the c but the a is still stuck so now i have to use a different method which is called matching the coefficient now how we do the matching the coefficient one um let's go on the next slide you need to multiply everything you need to multiply here everything so leave the one here this is an a you multiply that times that that should become uh, x times x is x square x times minus one is minus x minus one x times x is minus one x and minus one times one is minus one square which is minus one but if you look this is a difference of two square so that will become a x square minus one just like in complex numbers plus i'm just going to multiply the b inside so that will become a uh, bx plus b yeah plus a c now this will become x minus 1 times x minus 1 will be x square minus a 2x plus 1 yep yeah. so i do straight away now i need to multiply i need to just write these things um, ax square yeah i got the ax square uh, minus a so minus a i'm just writing like somewhere here minus a yeah and i'll tell you the reason now bx square so i'm gonna write on plus bx square oh no sorry plus bx sorry this plus b i'm just gonna write down here because they are the constant the terms with an x i write with the x terms with with the constant i write with on the other side so now i got plus cx square so plus cx square i'm going to write down here when c multiply by x it's going to be cx square <coughs> c times minus 2x is going to be minus 2cx yeah. c times plus 1 that will be a plus c so that's i got i just put a massive gap but it's all right yeah what does that mean that mean i can match the coefficient now which mean minus a plus b plus c should be equal to one because that's a coefficient which mean because i can write down this one i can write down as zero x square this side plus a zero x plus a one equals to i can take the a com uh, x square common so i got a plus c x square here i can take the if i take the x common i got b minus 2c and here i'm just going to write on plus yeah uh minus a plus b plus c if i match the coefficient it mean this one should be equal to that one it mean this zero should be equal to that one it mean um this zero should be equal to that one so we already got some some bits already so if i do a plus c i just use the this one a plus c 
a plus c equals zero, isn't it? We got it zero. So which means a should be equal to minus c. Yeah? Isn't it? Now where is the minus c? I have the minus c here, one over four. So I'm just gonna root right down. So a equals to minus one over four. Now I already got the value for the b. And I already got the value for the C, so I don't need to work on. Yes, so I already got these these values, yeah, B and the C. Yeah. So I got the value for the A as well. And then we integrate because the question was integrate this thing, not to convert into partial fractions. We have to convert into partial fractions before integrating. So let's do that one. So that will be A equals how much? A is minus one over four. So I can write on minus one over 4 and then x minus 1 plus a b uh, and the x minus 1 square yeah I don't know what b is yet but let's figure out uh, b is 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 plus the c now the c is 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 now I need to integrate it to integrate that bit, what you need to do is just put the integration sign like that and then dx like that and dx and like this and dx. But obviously, one, minus 1 over 4 will come out of the integration. plus 1 over 2 will come out of the integration and 1 over 4 will come out from the integration now this one I can write 1 over x minus 1 and once I integrate that will give me an answer of minus 1 over 4 ln of x minus 1. Done. Now let's look at the last one. We do the middle one in a minute. That one is 1 over x plus 1. When I integrate that one, that will be 1 over 4 ln of x plus one done obviously i'm gonna put the c what happened in the middle one this is x minus one square now x minus one square i can rewrite that one as x minus one to the power minus two so the one over two this one over two already here integral of x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 will be you add the power so that will become a x minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 because you add 1 becomes a minus 1 and then you divide with that power minus 1 because there is a minus 1 which will make this thing as a negative so now this will become a negative and this minus 1 will kind of disappear. Yeah. And that's, you can write 1 if you want. If you don't want, you can just write it like that. And that will be the answer. Yeah, C is important. Please make sure you write the C. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's go this way, this way, this way. That's it.